Hello Aunt you ma'am, how are you? Hello ma'am, I am fine. Thank you, what about you? I am also good, how your classes are going on? My classes are going very well, but my students have a problem related to learning. What is the problem ma'am? Can you tell me? I will try to help you. My students are getting bored, due to the old and continuous traditional teaching method, and they don't understand the subject easily. Oh! This is the problem, don't worry I will help you, and tell you an online learning tool, by which you can easily explain the topics of your subject, to your students, and this tool is very effective and interesting. Really, is there any tool? Yes, of course. There are many online learning tools that can make learning interesting and effective. Can you tell me name of the online learning tool? The name of the tool is Mind Mapping. What is mind mapping and how can it make teaching and learning effective? A mind map is a visual thinking tool, idea for brainstorming, exploring ideas and presenting information, in a uniquely visual way. Okay I understand the concept of mind mapping, but I don't know how to create a new mind map. Hey, don't worry, come here and watch my laptop screen, I am telling you, how to create a mind map. Okay tell me now, I am feeling excited. Hello friends, I am Dr. Sonam Bansal, working as Assistant Professor in Raulal Singh College of Education, Sidhravli. On the behalf of Aravli College of Advanced Studies in Education, I heartily welcome you all in the one-week online FDP on e-learning and ICT tools for effective teaching and learning. And today, we will learn how to create mind mapping. Mind mapping is a wonderful strategy that enhances the learning of the students in an effective manner. Mind mapping is a tool for the brain that captures the thinking that goes inside your brain. Mind mapping helps you to think, collect knowledge and create ideas. It improves your creativity. Mind map can be created in many different ways and there are a number of online tools by which you can create mind map. Mind mapping basically avoids dull, linear thinking, jogging your creativity and making not taking a fun again. Tools of creating mind map Mind Mister, iMind, Google, XMind, FreeMind, Miro, Poplet and many more. This is one of the simplest sample of mind map. So like this you can create a mind map. And today we learn how to create a mind map with the help of mind Mister. Mind Mister is an online mind mapping tool Mind mapping is a wonderful tool. In one mind map, even you can create your full unit by adding videos, by adding images. For creating mind map, first of all, you should have to log in on www.mindmister.com. So let me tell you how to create a mind map. For creating a mind map, first of all, you should have to go to Google and type here www.mindmister.com. Then you have to open Mindmister in a new tab and this is the interface of MindMister. Now, first of all, you should have to log in here if you have an account. If you don't have an account, then first of all, you should have to create your account by signing up here. When you will create your account, it will ask you to verify your account from your email ID. Then you have to go to your email ID and verify your account. After then, you have to log in here. I have already an account, so I am logging here. Now, here you have to type your email address and here you have to type your password and then log in. This is the main interface of the MindMister tool. Here on the right hand side, there are three dots. If you click here, then it will ask you to change the background. As you like, you can change the background of this interface. And here on the left hand side, the plus icon shows a template, new mind map. You should have to create a new mind map, then you should have to click here on plus. And here are some ready-made templates of MindMister. This is the aligned template of MindMister. Means in center there is a main concept and there are four threads on the all four sides. This is and this is organizational chart means the main concept is on the upper hand side and the sub concepts are on the down side. Here the right aligned means the main concept is here and all the sub threads are aligned towards right hand side. And this is the brainstorming vehicle. Friends, let me tell you one thing. In MindMister, you can create only three mind maps for free version. If you need to create more than three, 
mind maps then you should have to go for paid version so let's create a new one before creating a new one let me tell you how the mind maps looks like i have already created a mind map i'm showing that see here is a mind map and data gathering tools as you saw here on the left hand side there is a plus icon and there is a minus icon if i'm clicking here on the plus icon it will zoom in and enlarges the size of the mind map if i'm clicking here on the minus icon then it will decrease the size of mind map so like this you can enlarge or reduce the size of your mind map if you want to recenter then you should have to click here so like this you can change the size of your mind map now see here in one mind map almost all the data gathering tools of research are covered see here here is the embedded video hello welcome back and if you saw here if i'm clicking here on this arrow it will take me to the another tab so here are the resources that i have linked here so here also in observation i have created a some external links similarly in types of interview there is a video you can upload images you can upload icons you can upload notes here if i'm clicking here on the notes side so here is a this icon if i'm clicking here so you can add notes you can add links this is the relationship link because these two attitude skills are interrelated with each other here after this arrow there is a there is a comment box if you don't want that your student will read all the content that you have shared then you can comment here that you should have to read only only 2.2 part from this external link only 2.3 part from this external link so like this you can ask your student see here in checklist there is an arrow if i'm clicking here in this arrow it will take me to my drive so you can add material from your google drive also so it's a wonderful tool in which you can share material all the resources in one mind map even you can cover your one module also so now let me show you how to create a mind map for creating a new mind map you should have to go here on the plus icon i have already created three mind maps so i'll click here to show you how to create a new mind map this is the blank interface of your mind map. here in the center this is the main concept let's suppose we will prepare a mind map on theories of learning here on the upper panel there is a plus icon here on the right hand side if i am clicking over here new sub concept add here like this and i am clicking here i am adding sub concept now if i have to add another sub concept then i have to click here again on the main concept then i have to go to the plus icon and click here if i have to add another sub concept then again i have to go to the main concept i have to click here on the plus icon if i have to add another sub concept then i have to add here again the on the main concept then i have to again click on the plus icon and sub concepts are added with main concept now if i have to add here sub concept in the trial and error theory so i'm clicking here on the sub concept and i'm clicking here on the plus icon for example loss then if i have to add again here sub concept the trial and error theory and i'm clicking here on trial and error theory and again clicking on the plus icon then if i have to add again here sub concept then i'm clicking here on trial and error theory and then i am clicking then i am clicking here again on the plus tab and right here uses of this theory. so like this you can add sub concept if i have to add here again the sub sub concepts so i'm clicking here on the laws of this theory i'm clicking here on the plus icon that's the law of readiness again clicking on this theory again clicking on the plus icon law of exercise again clicking on the plus icon again clicking on the laws of theory theory again clicking on the plus law of effect so like this you can add sub concept under the main concept main concept then sub concept sub sub concept and sub 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 concept so like this you can add as much sub concepts as you like so now here on the right hand side there is a panel that shows a number of features that you can add here in the mind map on the upper hand side there there is a a small a then medium a then large a this shows that you can change the text size you can create bold you can create italic and here you can change the color so let me discuss one by one all these features 
if you want to change the text size then click here on the main concept and click here on the large a see the size changes if i'm clicking here on bold then it bolds or unbold if i'm clicking here on italic then the text will change if i want to change the size of sub concept then i'm clicking here on the sub concept i'm clicking here on the large a large text size i'm clicking here on bold i'm clicking here on italic so like this you can change the text size after this there is a icon of color let's suppose if you want to change the color of this main concept here there are the colors and below the color there are two tabs one is text and other is background if you want to change the background color then you have to click here on the background and then you have to click here on the background color which color you want to change like this let's suppose i am clicking here on sub concept and i am again clicking on the color i am clicking here on classical and conditioning and clicking here on color so like this you can change the background color of different concepts and sub concepts right see here like this you can change the background now if i want to change the text color i'm clicking here on the text and clicking here on the main concept and clicking here on the color so like this you can change the text color also so this is how you can change the color like this you can change the background color also here after the color there is another tab of style if i want to change the style of this i'm clicking here on the sub concept here on open and conditioning i'm clicking here on the style here this so this will change here on the left hand side i'm clicking here on sub concept i'm clicking here style so the style will change so like this you can change the style of your see after style there is a tab of boundaries here if i'm clicking here different patterns of boundary came here if you want to give a separate boundary to a sub section that is attached with here with sub sub section then you can give how let me click here on one sub section and click here on boundary see common boundary this shows that this one sub section is attached here with sub sub section all are related with this sub section so like this you can add boundary let me give you one more example i am clicking here on plus the conditioning i am clicking here on plus tab and add here if i want to give this sub section a common boundary then i click here on classical conditioning and then click here on see the different boundary comes here in this sub section also so like this you can add sub boundary if you want to customize then you can customize also go to the customize click here you can change shape you can change color you can change border color you can change line you can change width see the boundary color changes and the pattern changes i'm clicking here go to the customize click here on style click here on color and click here on ok see so like this you can change the boundary now after the boundary there are three tabs here below the boundary pattern there are three tabs one is icon second is images and third is video how you can add these features let me tell you first of all i am clicking here on icon there are a number of free icons here in this mind mister map see here a number of free icons are there if i am clicking here in this sub section and i am clicking here on this icon bell so the icon comes here see if i want to add a icon in the main section then i click here in this the main concept and i click here in the flag so the flag comes automatically here so like this you can add icon if you want to add here one more icon i'm clicking here on this arrow see the icon comes here so like this you can add icon now if i want to add image here in the main concept let me click here on the image and go to add image so these four tab open one is upload a new image second is use web image third draw image and fourth browse image from library see if i click here on upload a new image it will ask me to upgrade means go for paid version so i have a choice to choose the images from the library so i go here in the library there are 53 images so i choose one here and go here use selected image 
and the image automatically comes let me add another image here in this section click here on add image click here on browse image library click here you selected image so like this you can add image now if you want to add video go to the video section let's suppose i want to add video here in this section trial and error theory i click here i click here on video and go here browse video so the videos that are already in the mind mister come here so you can choose the video if i well, i select this video i select here on the right icon and go here you selected video click here and the image video comes here so like this you can add videos for example i want to add another video go on this section go on browse videos click here to add videos you selected video the video automatically comes so like this you can add video after this you saw there are two icon this pen icon shows a very beautiful feature of this mind mister mind map see if i want to add a video in this sub section open and conditioning theory i click here the pen icon the video automatically comes this feature is wonder build feature means the wonder build feature automatically searches the videos and the related videos of that uh, of that content automatically comes here after this if you see here are five icons first is to add notes i click here and click here on add notes and write something add notes series of learning r related to psychology what you want to write here add notes here and click here see the icon of notes automatically comes here and if you click here whatever you have written in the notes shows here. so like this you can add notes now see here is a arrow icon if i want to add a url i click here on classical conditioning again i click here on this pen icon see the url automatically comes here see here in classical conditioning so this is a very beautiful feature of this mind map named as wonder build feature so if i click here it will take me to the another tab of this e content this e content automatically searches by wonder build now if i want to add a comment here click here and add on comment read only 1.1 and 1.2 section from the e content whatever you comment here say it click on say it see the comment that you have written comes here so like this you can give instructions to your students which content they have to read which video they have to look at which part of the video they have to pay attention so like this you can add images you can add videos if you don't like the embedded videos that have already searched in my mister app you can add external url links let me show you one if i'm clicking here on theories of learning then go to the google and type here theories of learn now it will give me a number of results i have to add only free resources then i go to the setting go to the advanced setting go to the user right and choose here free to use and share license go to advanced search and here are a number of free contents let me choose this copy the url here and paste here in this url and click see the url automatically comes here so like this you can add url here you can add images you can add videos you can add e content by linking with external url if you don't like this content then you can add your own now if you want to attach click on the attachment and go here in the plus tab here you can add files from your laptop you can add files from dropbox you can go to the google drive it will again ask you the paid version so like this you can add content here see in one mind mister you can even cover your one complete module of 20 25 or 40 marks even after the content if you want your students to give a test here then you can link your online
question paper here. You can paste the link of your online exam here. So this is your complete module. Now let me show you one some more feature. Here on the upper panel you saw the plus icon. If you want to add the sub sub sections then you can add here on the plus. And this is the relationship. If you want to add for example if there is a relationship between the between this text subsection and this subsection then you can click here then you can click on this then this link it will link the automatically with other subsection so now if you want to delete a subsection then click on click here on this subsection and click here on this delete this automatically delete if you want to if you want that uh, whatever you have deleted comes again then you have to click here on undo automatically comes and see that this is undo and this is redo now how to share if you go here on the lower side you saw here the tab share and if you click on this share this pop up opens and you can share this mind mister map by two way one you can copy this link another you can invite the pupil whom you want to invite by sending mail for example i am typing here one email and send invite see this is a collaborative tool if your teacher assigns you a task to four to five students then those four to five students can work collaboratively on this mind mister map see how if i go here in sharing settings see here on the right hand side there are two options can edit and i'm clicking here can view if you want your students or whom you want to share this mind map if you want they can only view you can click here only view and send and click here on done if you want to work collaboratively with your friends then you can click here can edit and click here on done so either you can invite by sending mail or if you want to share this link with many persons then you can copy the link here and share with other you can't export this mind map as a pdf or as facebook it will again ask you to go for paid version so now i think i have discussed all the features of mind mister mind map now you need to do hands on practice the more you will explore the more you will learn and more you will be comfortable to how to create a mind mister map If you have any queries related to this you can post thank you Wow this mind mister tool is very interesting and effective teaching tool with the help of this tool student can learn in an effective manner thanks for teaching me you welcome